Welcome to my cyber panel video training series. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up reverse DNS. We'll be doing that using Contable. If you have your VPS with other VPS providers, you can also check videos online on how to do this. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to set reverse DNS on Contable. Now what I'll be showing you in this video is similar to other VPS providers. Okay, the steps are the same. So when you log into your provider, whichever provider you use as your VPS, there should be a place called reverse DNS management. Okay, so we want to click on reverse DNS management. In our case, we are using Contable. If you don't have account with Contable, you can check the description of this video and things will look or things will be very easy for you. All right. So what we're going to do is we want to make sure we go to Cloudflare, right? And we're going to set up an A record in Cloudflare, right? If you don't know how to do that, just click on create account and click on add record. And here, click on it and put something like server one, okay? Or enter your host name. So it's going to look like this. And then you point it to your IP address. Okay. So first, that's the most important thing you have to do. Make sure you create a host name because we'll be using this host name to, we're going to replace this host name. Okay. So with reverse DNS, it maps an IP to a host name. Okay. Let me show you quickly how to do that. So first enter, make sure you select the type as a, enter your name. So whichever subdomain you want to use, just enter that here, maybe server two. And then you enter your IP address here. Make sure you disable proxy. Scroll down a bit and click on save. Now, this domain, this subdomain is the one we'll be using in our Contables dashboard. So click on this edit and we're going to remove this and point that to our A record. So to update that, just click on this edit, remove this default host name. So remove it and put your host name, the one you get set inside Cloudflare. So in our case, the one we set was server2.your domain.com or dot whichever extension and click on save i only showed you how to do it but i already did that with server one all right so i'm going to use this server one because when you when i take you back to cloud flare scroll down you see that i have server one which i set up earlier before this recording right and that's the one we're also going to be using to configure our cyber panel. And I did that in my other videos. So now go back and then all you have to do is just click on save changes. And that has been updated. Next, if you want to uh, change this IP6, right? We have this IP4. If you want to change this IP6, then you have to also point this domain name to this address. How do we do that? We can also do that by going to Cloudflare, add new record, enter your host name, which is server one in my case. So you see it's here and that's the same thing I have on my contable, which is here. Just copy your IP version 6 and go back, change this A record to the four A's and that's IPv6, which is here. We want to point that address here. Let's off proxy status, scroll down and just click on save changes. And we are done with reverse DNS. Okay. So wait for it and we're done. We'll verify if this was successful. Open your terminal, 
and type ns lookup lookup and put your ip hit enter and you should see your subdomain or your host name here which is successful it means it's successful log into your server again and type host name all right host name now this thing can take a while to update to this all right so just give it a while and it should update itself all right so thank you for watching hoping to see you in my next video where we'll be updating our cyber panels host name to this domain and not our ip right